Hi, in the second video of the SXA and Tailwind series, we're going to have a look at how to create this card. I'm going to take this card and copy all of its configurations from here and just add it to Tailwind Play. I'll just update the image here. And you'll see that this card changes how it looks depending on whether it's in mobile view or in desktop view. And this card, I'm going to quickly go through it and explain what everything means. And then we're going to actually integrate it within Sitecore. So let's get started. So the first thing here, as you can see, this is a figure tag. The figure tag has a class of MD flex. What this means is that it should become flex when it's medium size or larger. So you can see here that when the min width is 768, it should display as flex. And then we have a background uh, of gray 100. We have a rounded XL, which means that the borders should be rounded. You can see here the border is slightly rounded here. And then we can see that we have a padding of eight, which is two rem. And then for MD, put the padding to zero so that it can actually be touching the side, as you can see here on the top and right and left. Next, we'll go to the image. The image has a class of W32, which is, again, a width of 8rem and a height of 8rem. And then when it goes to MD, the width becomes 12rem and the height becomes O2. And this is, again, to keep it as a circle, this circle here, which is same width and height for smaller devices. And then as you grow larger to MD, it becomes a width of 12 rem or was it 16 i can't remember uh, of 12 rem <clears throat> and height auto so it can span the full location here then for md we don't want it to be rounded otherwise we want it rounded full so it will be rounded full up to md you have to remember with tailwind you're always doing mobile first development so you can see here for mobile i wanted it round and then i said rounded none for md and then margin auto so that everything can be center aligned here. Next, we're on the image itself. Um, next, we're going to go to the div, which is the body here. And we have this with a padding top of six and uh, for MD and above padding of eight, a full padding of eight. And again, if we look at it here, you can see the padding top of six and which is three rem. And then here you can see it's a full padding around it. Then we have text center. And again, for MD, I want the text to be left aligned. And then we have a space Y of four, which is really just margin top and margin bottom um, calculated for items within this object. So it, it really does spacing between the items within. Next, we have the block quote. And that block quote has a P which has text large, which enlarges the font size and line height and a semi-bold font size. And then we have the text itself. And then we have the figure caption, which is a fig caption with the author's name and uh, their title really. So it's really quite simple. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna take this and actually copy it into Visual Studio Code. So I have done so already. Then I'm gonna actually use the promo as my test scenario here. So I have here, what I've done is first I changed um, the three texts to be promo text and promo text two, promo text three. Now I would not really do that in a real case scenario. I'd make it more specific and more understood. I wouldn't use a, the promo as well for, um, um, I, sorry, I wouldn't use a rich text for the person's name and person's title because it's just a single line of text. But for now, just to speed things up, I'm going to use the promo. Next, for the actual image, I use the promo icon field, but I gave it a width of 200 because that's the maximum width I'll ever get. You can see from these two that the maximum width is 200 pixels. So I added W200. And this is to make sure that if the content author uploads a larger image, we ensure that it's resized to a smaller version of the image. And then I added also a class which gives it the classes I had in the image here these classes w32 and so on next i'll copy this and i'll add it to my scriban inside of sitecore so i'm gonna go back to my content editor here you can see here i've just copied it and pasted it 
within my script band. So I going back here. So it's in promo default. I added the script band and just added this in it. Next, I'm going to publish, which I've already done so. And then I'm going to preview it after I created a promo. So you can see here, this is my promo. It has the picture with, uh, here on the left. And then it goes to the top. Now you'll see that some of the things did not apply. Like for instance, this is not round. Uh, this shouldn't have been rounded. This should have been more rectangular. And this is because the CSSs are not available right now, are not applied. In the next video, we're going to have a look at how do we start applying the CSS and how do you do that for development and how do you do that for production? Because Tailwind is quite large, uh, even the minified version of it is quite large. And you most of the time you want to purge a lot of it. So we're going to have a look at how to do that with some tips and tricks around that as well. See you in the next video.